Hello and welcome back to the KCC channel, I'm Rob and I hope you're having a wonderful day today. Today we're jumping into some I don't work here lady. Our first story today comes to us from ML Bloke. Thanks, but this is what you deserve. Let's jump right in. This happened in summer of 2019 in a major appliance store in a Bible Belt state. I was visiting my cousin after staying over the weekend for an engineering conference a couple of hours away. I accompanied my sister-in-law and her three-year-old kid to buy some kitchen appliances. In the aisle we were in, there was an entitled Karen and her daughter shopping with their cart. I was aimlessly perusing the aisle waiting for my sister-in-law to finish with the toddler playing nearby. I heard an ahem and turned around to see the entitled Karen pointing to a heavy coffee espresso machine in the middle of the shelf. Can you bring this down and place it? It looks like what we might want, yada yada. Ma'am, I can't, cutting me off and angry finger pointing. You guys get paid to help too, not just restock. But thinking, F it, let me just help out the lady. She probably thinks me to be a store clerk by my tucked polo and khakis. What's the harm anyway? I proceed to snag the machine gently with my stretched arms and that package weighs more than a few casual pounds. Probably one of those Swiss makes, not sure. Seeing me struggle, daughter reaches out to help when entitled Karen pulls her back and with an earshot, don't, these people are meant to do just that. These immigrants were doing just that in their farms anyways, let him. That was it. I jerked the package and placed it right on top of her other cart items. Audible cracks heard. How dare you do that? Do you know who I am? I'm going to see your superior. How dare you break my something? Hearing the commotion, my sister-in-law was walking back towards us at that time. Entitled Karen jolted the cart away in disgust, trying to menacingly posture, and it unluckily hits my three-year-old niece smack in the face, and she falls backwards. Heaven had seen no wrath like a mother seeing her child get hurt. Maternal instinct can be so fast to comprehend. Oh boy, she lunged at entitled Karen and letting go of any civility started pummeling her. It took me about five seconds to comprehend what was happening. Baby on the floor, loud shrieks and pow wow wow. Luckily, I extricated her and we took the kid to the first aid. She was taken to the emergency room and needed a stitch and pain meds for two days. The store manager, who had by then known about it, drove down half an hour later and let us know that we were in the green and they were pressing a complaint against the woman for negligently hurting a minor by willful action. We thanked the store guys and sent cupcakes in appreciation when kiddo was back home. She drew a card which showed the balding manager holding hands with her with a band-aid head and an angry looking woman, presumably Karen, laugh out loud. Judiciary did intervene. Entitled Karen got a probation due to charges of battery, negligence, and willful harm. Sister-in-law got into anger management therapy on court mandate. Some lightweight community service. I don't justify her reasons to hit, but at the moment, anyone might actually act the same way if you see a hurt child and an unrepentant, menacing woman. Now, when Karen asks, do you know who I am? The only proper thing to do is look them right in the eyes and say, no, sorry, can't help you there. Madam, I haven't got a clue who you are. Do you know who you are? Now, as mentioned in the comments, I think it would have been really funny to just take this item and put it up on a higher up shelf. Instead of putting it in their cart, it would have made a completely different ending to this story. <laughs> Do me a quick favor, have a look down below the video. If that subscribe button's still red, it means you're not actually subscribed to the KCC channel. Please hit that subscribe button for more daily Reddit stories. Our next story today comes to us from High Skills. I don't work here, I'm just a gamer. Let's jump right in. So for context in the title, you might be asking some questions. So I'll explain using this story. I've been playing games for over 18 years now and I've been going to gaming cafes a lot in my free time, especially after school. This story starts out during my high school years, around third year incoming to fourth year. So it's around my 16 to 17 years old years. As I was at the counter just reloading some time in my gaming account for me to use the computers to play, then some girl approached me and started to hand me money. Now, I was pretty normal. I looked kinda semi-formal and the employees in the gaming cafe don't really have any uniform since it was a public gaming cafe place where gamers can hang around. 
I was one of the guys who would play a game for two to three hours and just watch three to six hours of videos, like YouTube videos and such, but the girl thought that I was one of the employees, all because I was typing at the keyboard to input my username for my account to be reloaded with time. If you don't know, this is how people get timed for their usage of the computer. You pay for the amount of time you use. For example, one US dollar for one hour of computer time in the general section, five US dollars for one hour in the VIP section, etc. The girl, who clearly didn't know, pushed money in front of me saying, three hours please, and started to give the money to me. Now, clearly me being a nice guy and all, I did tell her I wasn't an employee, nor was I actually acquainted with anyone in the cafe. It was just a random gaming cafe I just happened to somehow stumble into myself. Now, as she started to give the you gotta be kidding me attitude, she started saying rude things like, you're so useless, is every employee like this? and rolled her eyes away thinking I was useless. I saw her bags filled with some gaming equipment, and I realized that she actually was a gamer. I did say, well, sorry to disappoint you, but I'm really not an employee, but that gaming gear you have is interesting. May I look at them? Just out of my curiosity, I wanted to see what models and brands they were from. She went all get your effing hands off my gaming equipment and started to shove my face away from the equipment. I was just curious and wasn't even leaning toward her or her equipment. The equipment in the gaming cafe where I was loading up was already suited for me after looking around the premises a bit before loading up my account. I just registered after looking at the place. Then one of the employees of the gaming cafe suddenly came and started to take his shift. I saw him punching in his account on the public monitor where you load up your account and he was surprised on what happened. Apparently, the girl started using some profanities, calling me some weirdo, to which I'm used to, and trying to so-called get me fired for stealing. She even complained to the manager, who I thought was just a regular employee at the time, and started to try and get me kicked out. Fortunately, some bystanders and the manager overheard the conversation and teamed up on her. Apparently, she was infamous for her complaints with staff and other things that she got banned from some internet cafes, the manager even stepped in and banned her from the gaming cafe. Her jaw dropped and asked, why am I getting effing banned and him not getting fired for not doing his job? I was all confused and actually explained, I don't know you ma'am, but as I said, I'm not even an employee. If you thought for a moment, why do you think I'm outside of the counter rather than inside? Her jaw dropped and she started to nervously laugh and tried to chuckle her way out of getting banned. Unfortunately, she got banned regardless for this kind of behavior and was escorted out along with some police guards around the area. It was a public area, so some police officers usually roam around to check things if things get messy. The next day, I knew she got banned not only from the gaming cafe I went to, but she was apparently being observed for ban if she acts up kind of behavior. Apparently, the manager got a picture of her and told the owners of the other cafes to watch out for her and her antics and ban her if she started acting like she did before with what happened. To what I know, all the internet and gaming cafes in the area currently now officially shut down operations due to COVID. She stopped going to gaming cafes and stopped gaming as a whole. It's a really sad story because it sounds like you could have made a really good friend that day if she didn't go full Karen. So a bit of advice to never go full Karen because you never know what doors it's going to close. Our next story today comes to us from Bill I Am. Did you see the logo on the badge? Let's jump right in. I work for a major railroad in the northeastern US, and in case you didn't know, we've had some storms lately. We needed some 30 amp sockets that we had run out of because we don't usually keep hurricane level amounts of parts on hand, so I went to my local big box hardware stores, buying as many of these as we could get our hands on. Unfortunately, many people were cleaning up after these storms and needed these parts too, so I was having a devil of a time finding them. Because I work for a railroad, I have to be qualified to go near railroad tracks, and I have a badge that shows I can do this. This badge is Safety Orange. One of the hardware retailers is known for Safety Orange. It should be noted that this badge has a railroad logo on it, but I'm sure you can see where this is going. I visit my fifth hardware store of the day yesterday, and I start looking in the aisle where they usually keep these. I find the area, and it is destroyed. Looks like the American Tourister Gorilla was looking for wall outlets. 
so I check their stock on my phone. It says they have 12 of these, and I start looking. After a minute or so of digging around, I hear the mating call of the Greater Northeastern Whooping Karen. Ahem! I ignore it. Ahem! Excuse me! I ignore it again. Still digging the shelves, I find an unopened box of 30-amp four-wire sockets. Pay dirt! I've been buried up to my waist in dusty shelves looking for these, so I pull myself out with a box of sockets looking like I just wrestled a badger. I come face to face with the Karen. All five foot two, asymmetrical bob, chunky jewelry, sunglasses from the Kardashian collection, the whole bit. So are you deaf or just plain stupid? Now, I'm pretty low on Fs to give on a good day due to a congenital malformation of my F gland, but today, I am completely out. My Fs are so low, they are in danger of collapsing in on themselves and creating a stable negative F event that Stephen Hawking could only dream about. An Fularity, if you will. So with all the sass I can muster, I say, Neither, Karen, I just don't give a crap about what you have to say. We all know that Karens love being called Karen. What did you just say to me? I don't give a crap. Where's your manager? I hope you enjoyed your last day working here. You're done. I don't work here. It's why I couldn't care less about you, your opinion, or who your husband is. Of course you do. Why else would you be wearing an employee badge? Employees here wear aprons, not badges. But it's orange. Yep, bye. You're not going anywhere until I talk to your manager, and she stretches her multicolored talons for my badge. You need to think really hard about what you do next. Any part of you that touches me is going to be broken. I already told you I don't work here. I'm leaving. Find someone else to be to. I'm not interested. Now, admittedly, this was beyond the pale, but as I said, I was tired and irritated from a stretch of long, backbreaking days and this is my fifth store today. And now, I have to go and start work. So, I did feel bad for how I talked to her as I walked away. I find a few other things I need and head up to pay. As I'm up at the customer service desk trying to ring up a tax-free sale on this stuff, I hear the shriek of the Karen. That's him! I'm not leaving here until he's fired! A woman in her mid to late 40s, with a kind but exasperated face, comes walking up to me and says, Listen, I'm the manager on duty, this woman is in here all the time, and she's a huge pain in my butt, so I'm sure that she's completely full of crap. But she says you pushed her over, called her a bunch of names, and threatened her. Literally, none of that happened. I told her that if she touched me, she was going to regret it, and that was that. I thought so. I'm gonna make a big show of firing you, and we can both be done with her. Nope, I'm not dealing with her. She acts like a self-entitled hag because you bend over backwards for her every time she throws a tantrum. You do what you want, I'm not playing. Karen was standing behind her, sputtering like a lawnmower engine when I said that, but I didn't hear what happened after that. The cashier winked at me, handed me my receipt, and I left. I think that manager needs to get a little bit better of a grip on their job. However, they might just be following corporate policy, but I don't know where in the corporate policy it would say that you have to pretend to fire a customer to make another customer happy because they're in there all the time. That's just a bunch of BS if you ask me. Our last story today comes to us from Griffey42. Neighbor saves me from a Karen. Let's jump right in. I live in a small town that's 95% English speaking. There are a few French families due to the local industry. I speak enough French, about as well as an 8-year-old native speaker, that I made friends with a neighbor who doesn't speak English and can't drive because of seizures. Her husband has been out of town for work for the last few months, so I've taken her grocery shopping and to run errands. Her computer died last week, so I took her to the big box computer store to look at a new one. I work in electronics as a technician, so I know a thing or two about brands, quality, pricing, and what computer to get based on her needs. I'm standing at the computer area with her, telling her about all the specs, tower versus laptop, etc, etc. I notice someone in my peripheral vision, but I ignore it. Our conversation switches over to school starting soon. Our daughters ride the bus together, when the lady behind us pokes me in the shoulder and starts barking in French, I need help too. 
you need to stop chatting and start helping. Do you know how hard it is to get help in French around here? Big box employees wear blue polo shirts and slacks. I'm wearing a hippie maxi dress and Birkenstocks. I start trying to explain that I don't work here, but I think that's when she picked up on my obvious Anglo accent. She starts talking to me like I'm a misbehaving toddler. I need you to help me set up my home network. I don't have time for you to chat about your kids. Have fun finding a job once your manager hears you're chatting about your kids instead of working. At this point, my neighbor pushes me out of the way. She's about twice as big as the Karen yelling at me. She walks up to the Karen and just shouts at her for two minutes. I couldn't catch most of it because I only know school French, but I'm picking out a lot of F-bombs. One of the staff comes up and tries to ask what's going on, but they aren't paying him any attention. When he realizes they're not English, he walks away. I guess he didn't think he could help. Karen storms off in a huff. I wish I'd known what was said. Also, my neighbor is awesome. Your neighbor is awesome, but they obviously also appreciate what you do for them because they were willing to stand up for you. That's a person you want to keep in your life. Check out all four OPs linked in the description down below. I thank you for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day and we'll see you tomorrow.